sorts of things that you can tell about people. The way they dress, the way they look, the way they talk, and the way they write. It's called Graphology. It's also the title of a brand new book out in the shops at the moment by Michael Watts. And Michael's here in the studio. Michael. Hello, Gavin. Um, the book isn't actually about the history of graphology. It's about how to become a graphology detective, if you like. Is that right? Yes, that's right. And that's a very good way of putting it, because much as the fictional character Sherlock Holmes does, he takes a single clue and builds up a whole portrait of a personality. Well, you're essentially doing the same thing when you analyse writing. But how do you actually go about it? Well, what you're actually doing is looking at different letter shapes in the writing. And each right. individual letter shape has its own meaning, which you can find by looking in the index in the book, which will give you a page number that describes the back. meaning attributed to the personality. Do you ever get somebody's personality wrong, though? Well, there's always room for error in everything. I'm pleased you admit it. OK, show us some of the letters, then, that signify Well, to give things. you an example, if you see a D that has a large balloon loop, this shows the person is extremely oversensitive to criticism. And in fact, some people with this characteristic have a persecution complex and imagine people are criticizing them even when they're giving harmless advice. Right. On the other hand, if you saw the same letter D but made with a single stem rising to the left, and you saw this in combination with an E that looks like a backward-facing number three, then these two characteristics in the writing show a person with a strong love of culture, and they are likely to be extremely avid readers. It's fascinating. I'd well, love to go through the whole alphabet, but, but we haven't got the time, unfortunately. But what I do want to ask you is, firstly, I use different pens to write, so my writing changes yes. sometimes, and you have told me that you should use the pen that you're most That's comfortable correct. with. But what about if you're left-handed and you're forced to write with your right hand or if you're forced to write in a certain way? And my father was forced to write with his right yes. hand when he was younger. Well, since writing is an expression of a personality, you should never try and straitjacket someone's personality by altering their writing. And especially if someone's left-handed and you force them to write with their right hand, you're subjecting them to intense stress. So you will produce stress in the personality and it will show up in the writing. And what about if you write in a messy way? Does that mean you're a messy person? Sometimes it does, but on the other hand, it can show tremendous creative power that's welling up from the resources in the subconscious mind. And these people can be very artistic. Well, so all you people that have messy handwriting, don't listen to your teachers. There we are, you're artistic. OK, we've got a bit of a challenge for you. I've got some handwriting here and uh, I want you to watch very carefully at home as well because we're going to do a phone-in competition. But can you try and analyse this person for us? There's yes. a couple of clues in there. But, uh... OK, Gabby. Well, the first thing I notice is the writing slopes upwards and this shows a genuinely optimistic personality who always has a cheerful face and even when things go wrong, they expect that everything will turn out right in the end. Okay. And also I notice the capital letters are very large in this writing and this shows tremendous showmanship, a person exuding charisma and a person who's able to deal in a friendly, uh, likeable manner with other people. <laughs> I'm going to stop you. I think he's actually given enough clues. There's also a big clue in there. If you know who this person is, you can win yourself a Motormouth goodie bag and the top 10 singles. Give us a call now on 0622 600000. That's 0622 600000. If you can guess who this person is and we'll let you know later on. Okay, Michael, if we can just step down okay. here. We've got scribblers busy over there. Left-handed one oh, as well. That's very okay, if you join right, Jamie right. and Louise, right? Now oh, you're actually going to teach them how to be graphologists. Yes, aren't I will you? be doing that. Okay, Jamie, what are you going to be looking for? Uh, the hooks, the curls, and the style of the lettering. Oh, I, I won't have much trouble teaching him. <laughs> you already seem to know. very carefully. All right. Well, for now, thank you very much, you three, and it's over to Andy. And uh, to the handwriting competition. <laughs> I actually can't tell you how many we had. We had absolutely thousands and thousands and thousands of calls. The switchboards have been jammed. Yes, the big clue is Joseph. And of course, it is our very own Jason Donovan. So congratulations to Tracy Cooper of Kikaldi. You're going to receive the Motormouth goodie pack and the top ten singles. Well done to you. OK, Michael, you've all been busy all morning. Yes, Gabby. How have they done? They've done excellently. In fact, they're two excellent amateur graphologists. All Both right, well, of them. well done. Back to the professional for a moment. You haven't seen this book, you don't know who it is, okay? No. Right, give it well, a go. This is an absolutely fascinating writing because there's so much physical restless activity in it. In fact, this man is absolutely bursting, bouncing and bubbling with so much physical energy, he's yes. almost hopping out of his skin. And don't even try to tell him to stop talking, it won't work. He just goes on and on and on. And if there's no one to talk to, he'll talk to himself or the nearest pet cat or dog. I've, I actually have it. Who do you think that is? Steve. Yeah. Yes. In fact, it is Steve Johnson. A very accurate one about Steve. Thank you very much, Michael. Thank you very much, Okay. Abby. 
Jamie, it's your turn. Ready to go for it. You again. Don't know who it is. The stems on his letter D curve to left. Right, yeah. This type of writing means the man has a love for reading. In some words, letters appear to be missing. Okay. This means it is unlikely that he reads much nowadays unless it's part of his job. It indicates right. he's working too hard. Oh, somebody's working too hard. Who do you think it is? Oh, I can't imagine. <laughs> he recognises his own writing. Yes, it is Andy. Well done, Jamie. Okay, Louise, it's your turn. Okay. Letter T is crossed as shaped a bit like smiles. His letter H is made with a loop, which is near the middle area of the letter. These signs mean this person has a good sense of humour and sees the funny side of life, even with his own problems. He's good at cracking jokes and helps people to relax. Even when he's under a lot of pressure, he doesn't lose the twinkle in his eyes. Oh, the twinkle in his eyes. It can only be our very own Neil Buchanan. I think they deserve a round of applause. They were absolutely brilliant. Come here. Well done, you two. Thank you very Thank much, you very Michael. Much. And um, everybody who's sending me Christmas cards, be very careful this year, because Michael's left me one of his books, and uh, I'm going to suss out your signatures. Thanks, Michael. Thank you very much, Kevin.